A markup summary is a published report of all the markups in a PDF file, including any embedded images or videos. With a variety of export options, you can always have the information you need when you need it. To start a markup summary, you can first open the markups list. Click on the summary menu. You will see the various options of formats to export the summaries to. Select CSV Summary to begin. You can add more files or a folder of files if you would like to, under Files at the top. Select the pages or range of pages to be summarized from the drop-down menu next to the file listed if you want to get specific. However, most users do this for all pages in the document. From the Output tab, you have a number of options including where to export to, as well as what information you can choose to add to the summary. Each format has unique properties that can be customized to your liking. The PDF format has a number of additional options related to the format, including the ability to use a custom document template. You can also append the summary with hyperlinks to the active document. Give the summary a name and adjust the output settings as needed. From the Columns section, check the column names you want to appear in the summary. You can also click and drag a column to change the order it appears in the summary. You can also save this configuration below, load in a previous configuration, or choose to be sure a column appears even if it's empty. In the Filter and Sort section, you can filter the markup information shown in the report. Sort how the report displays the markup from the drop-down menu. An extra sort parameter appears automatically once you fill in the drop-down. You can also save these settings for future reports. Once satisfied with the settings, click OK. With the report created, and hyperlinked to the drawing, you can click on the image of a markup and see directly on the drawing where it is.